New plans by city council to shut down internet arcades. It's facing a stumbling block, and not by the arcades, but by council itself. A meeting this afternoon with some council members looking into the measure shows there are still many questions as to whether new regulations will ever hit the books. News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Pickett was at that meeting. He's joining us live from City Hall. Jim, what happened? Well, you know, there was a lot of discussion on both sides on this. I'll tell you, during the last month, I've been going over this list that the city gave to me. It shows 242 of those arcades operating in Jacksonville. The majority of them are illegal. Well, under this new proposal, they would be able to really crack down on many of these, but there are still some problems. The idea of adult arcades, or what we used to call internet cafes, is nothing new, but the city is still trying to regulate them. The latest measure calls for a ban on simulated gaming devices and would give those that have legal permits a year to get rid of them or shut down. Today, the city council members had a chance to ask questions. A handful were at the meeting, but one member behind the ordinance says it's the council that's actually fighting him on these new proposed regulations. Make no mistake, it's council members who are holding this bill up saying that they don't have the answers, they don't have, uh, you know, they're, they're trying to make this sound like we're shutting people down out of business. They're trying to make this sound like it's something completely different than it is. Councilman Ferraro says it's a matter of public safety. He says the rooms and the games are a public nuisance, and that's why they should be shut down. He points to crime stats that show from January of last year to April of this year, there have been 504 calls to service to the sites. He says that doesn't include a recent murder last week at one location. There were a handful of owners at the meeting, and they say they have been trying to deal with the crime issue, but find this measure unfair. No, I think it's not fair to the employees and business owners, but more concerning is the public safety. We've put a proposal forth that would address public safety immediately. Attorney Kelly Mathis, who was involved and arrested in the Allied Veterans Raids and had all those charges dropped against him, represents some of the owners. He says the city is going about this backwards. They had enforcement measures on the books that would have dealt with the, all the problems that we're hearing about today, and they simply stopped enforcing that. You know, there was a member of Mayor Curry's staff at the meeting today saying that the mayor supports some of this legislation that's going on. This could come before the full council in about a month. We're live from City Hall, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station.